The El Nord political party was founded in June 2011 following the January 2011 Egyptian revolution and the collapse of Mubarak's regime. The Al Nur party is closely associated with the Salafi Call Society, also known as Al Dawa Al Salafia, which was founded in 1970s in Alexandria, Egypt. The Salafi Call religious movement is ultra conservative, and Salafists are often described as hardliners. The movement is ideologically derived from the Salafi Wahhabi movement based in Saudi Arabia. Salafists believe the earliest Muslims are the best examples of how to practice Islam. Following the Egyptian revolution in January 2011, the formation of the Al Nur political party came as a surprise to many. Historically, the Salafi movement has been apolitical. They previously condemned laws that were not explicitly stated in the Quran. Because of Salafists' historical opposition to political involvement, they were largely left alone under Mubarak in the 50s and 60s, while the Muslim Brotherhood was outlawed and persecuted. As a result, the Salafists were organized and the Al Nur party became officially licensed in 2011. The party is led by Salafi al Dawa preachers and scholars. Al Nur was founded by its president, Ahmad Abdel Ghafur and Yasser Hussein Burhami. Hizbin al Nur surprised the international community by winning 24% of the seats in the lower house of the newly formed Egyptian parliament. Their Al Nur party platform is different from the Freedom and Justice Party, the party of the Muslim Brotherhood that won 46% of parliamentary seats. The Salafists follow a more conservative version of Islam. They see science, not secularism, as the key to development and modernity in Egypt. Many view the Al Nur party as a check on the rising power of the Muslim Brotherhood. Hizbin Al Nur emphasizes their role as an advocate for the urban poor which many see as a contributing factor to their popularity and electoral success. They base their socio-economic policies on the Islamic principles of zakat, almsgiving, and waqf, donations or investments in religious and charitable groups and projects, as well as Islamic banking that prohibits interests on loans. The Al Nur party supports antitrust laws, as well as increasing government investment in research and development for civil and military industries. The Al Nur Party created the Islamic Bloc, a political coalition made up of the Al Nur Party, Al Asala Party, and Gama Al Islamiyah Building and Development Party. The coalition allows the Al Nur Party to reach out to larger geographical bases of the other parties. The rise of Islamists in politics and Salafists participating in democratic politics has many implications for the movement as well as the future of Egypt and the entire Muslim world. Some Salafist movements in the past have turned to extremism and even terrorism as a means to express their discontent. However, many experts believe that the rise of mainstream Salafists in politics could undermine the violent ideology of jihadism and provide a socialization process that could lead to Salafists moving comfortably within political pluralism. Others, however, are very concerned by the political rise of Salafists, who are often vocal opponents of Israel and much of U.S. policy in the Middle East. However, as the Salafists join the democratic process, pragmatism is likely to characterize their policies and perspective rather than radicalism. Islamist political parties, such as Al Nur, have promised to base their policies on Sharia law, imposing such laws as banning alcohol, bikinis, and even segregating beaches for both sexes. However, pragmatism is likely to impact these conservative ideas as tourism makes up a huge percentage of Egypt's GDP and makes up one in eight jobs in a country facing high unemployment. However, the Al Nur party, along with the Freedom and Justice Party, have expressed their commitment to tourism in Egypt. It remains to be seen what the future of Islamists in Egypt, as well as the rest of the Muslim world, will be. For the time being, Egypt and the newly elected leaders, including members of Al Nur, face powerful opposition from the Supreme Council of Armed Forces, SCAF, and arguments over whether elections or the writing of a constitution should come first in the future of a democratic Egypt. Whatever the outcome, it is clear that Islamists will play an important role in the future of Egypt as well as the rest of the Muslim world.